Hey, this is Will, and this is a short little vlog on firearms. Keep in mind, I'm just some guy, so my opinion probably doesn't even matter. Now, I was going to make this video about the P320C on an X-Compact frame, but instead, I decided to make a video on how I go about vetting a new carry gun. So I used to carry Glock 19s. I originally started carrying SIG, and just recently, I've gone back. I'm somewhat behind the times. I went ahead and I put a P320C on an X-Compact frame. Vetting a new carry handgun takes some time and some considerations. First thing obviously is reliability. As I mentioned before, this is the upgraded P320 slide with the military enhancements. This particular slide and barrel have already gone 5,000 rounds without any stoppages or issues. Since putting the X-Compact frame on it, I went ahead and I shot another 500 rounds through it to make sure that there was no issues with reliability or compatibility. The new rounds that I put through the gun consisted of brass, my carry ammo, steel ammo, aluminum ammo, everything that I could find to make sure that there wasn't any kind of function problems that the uh, P320C couldn't handle. I also wanted to see how split times and accuracy compared with my other Glocks. I wanted to see how the gun felt in my hands on the move when I was shooting. I wanted to test for its natural point of aim coming in and out of my holster with live fire. I wanted to make sure that I could get rounds on target accurately in quick amounts of time and have a good reset while I'm going long strings of fire. So all in all, this gun did very, very well. I wanted to shoot at least 100 rounds of my carry ammo through it. I wanted to shoot about another 150 rounds of steel case ammo and the rest brass of various kinds. This P320 ate all of that without any issue at all. There was never any stoppages. There was never any issues with it whatsoever. Now I can say the same thing about my Gen 3 Glock 19. They're both amazing guns, equal in my opinion. What did it for me with this P320 was the fact that I was able to be as accurate and fast as I was with it and the comfort it had in my hand as I was shooting. More comfort means more accurate shooting and faster shooting. Now I'm no like speedster operator or anything like that. As I said, I'm just some guy. But as far as for me, I think this pistol really passed the test very well. This X compact frame has its own stippling from the sides, the back, and the front. I don't have to do anything else to it. It feels perfectly in my hand and I just love the way that it fits ergonomically and it just gives me just a very, very nice reference point whenever I'm shooting. Uh, it's something that I had to actually do a lot with my Glocks personally to get that same feeling. Some people talk about the high bore axis of these Sig Sauer guns. And that could be an issue for some. Honestly, for me, it's not. Depending on how you actually grip your firearm, if you're actually getting real high up on that beaver tail and you're getting a good, nice, decent grip on here, that gun doesn't really rise very much. So that high bore axis isn't really an issue. And I actually see a lot more accuracy and speed from this than I actually do for my Glocks. Now this doesn't mean at all that I think the Sig Sauer guns are better than Glock. I don't. I think they're both about equal. I love my Glocks. And there's a lot of people out there that can run Glocks amazingly. But, like I said, for this particular time and moment, I like the Sig Sauer P320. It fits me better, I seem to shoot it better, and I like running it a little bit better. I also really like the compactness of this frame. It fits into my holsters, into my carry gear really, really well. It conceals very well, and I don't feel it at all when I'm carrying it inside my belt. In comparing it to my Glock 19, they're roughly about the same size. Comparing the two pistols, the Glock 19's frame seems to be just a hair shorter, whereas the X-Compact frame tends to be just a hair thinner. Now you can see as far as slide length is concerned, the P320's slide seems to be just a hair shorter than the Glock 19. I'm going to actually disassemble these and compare the actual barrel lengths. So as far as I can tell, with everything considered, it looks like the Glock 19's barrel is just a hair longer than the P320's barrel. While I do like the reset on the Glock, I find myself just a hair more accurate and faster with the reset of the P320. All in all, I love my Glocks. I love the Glock 19. It's a durable, reliable, wonderful pistol to carry. But for me, I'm going with the upgraded Sig Sauer P320. As I said, this particular barrel and slide 
have gone about 5,000 rounds without any issue. Now, with the new compact X frame on it, that's gone another 500 without any issue. That's pretty good reliability to me. It's also fed and fired reliably. Brass cases, steel cases, aluminum, hollowed points, carry ammo, everything I put into it. Without a hitch, without an issue. Never a stovepipe, never a light strike, never a problem. I've shot this gun in the rain, dropping magazines under the mud, sticking them into the gun, refiring, seeing if it was going to have any issue stopping that way. It's been fine. I don't put river mud into the ejection ports of my gun and then act surprised when the gun doesn't fire. I don't do that to my Glocks, I don't do that to my SIGs, I don't do that to my rifles, except maybe the AK. So to make a long story short, if you're vetting a new carry gun, make sure it's comfortable for you when you shoot. Make sure you're accurate with it. Make sure you can shoot it fast and safely. Make sure that you train with it. Make sure that the gun that you're choosing has good reliability. Make sure that it can shoot various types of ammo because you really don't know what kind of ammo you're going to have access to in any kind of shit that hits a fan situation. Your pistol is what you keep on you at all times. So it kind of makes sense that that's the weapon that you want to train the most with. Whatever gun you choose, Sig Sauer, Glock, Ruger, H&K, make sure that these firearms work for you. Make sure that when you pick them up, you're comfortable with them, that you know the ins and outs of how to use them. Yeah, it is fun to see how many thousands of rounds of fire I can go through without maintenance or cleaning before it finally fails. But we're talking about carry guns. So make sure they're clean, make sure they're reliable, make sure they're accurate. That's all I have for right now. Once again, this is just some guy's opinion, so it may not even matter.